Hello and welcome back here in our little open LCT2 test scenario where I showed you this little portal or teleportation roller coaster trick. I even see it in my last video of about this teleportation trick and now I want to show you how you can hide your tracks so you can build something like here with the uh, river rapids. Genau, River Rapids. The German name for that is Stromschnellen. Because I changed the language, but they don't change the rights name, so it's the German name here, but it doesn't matter. So uh, you can see here the... I will accelerate it a bit. You can see that the boats, they seem to be swimming over the sea with no tracks, but it's a little trick. You can make the tracks invisible and I want to show you how you can do this. At first you need some cheats, the well-known disable clearance check, cheat enabled and then you need the debugging tools. You can enable them via the options menu and then go to the French and click Enable Debugging Tools. And now it's uh, disabled, you can see the menu is gone and now I will enable and so you have here the option for the debugging tools. Let's start, if you want to build something in the water you have to remove the water first because it doesn't work when you try to build this into the water, I show you. Yeah, it, it says can't build this underwater, so you need the trick to remove the water first, then build the track you want. Let's make just a little a quick track, nothing special, just to show how it works. Little river rapids right into the water. So, entrance and exit. Now we can raise the water again and you see that now this works. So, but it looks a bit ugly here at the corners, at the coast of the... of the... here. You can see this here, you can see the tile, the green grass tile and if you do this... Uh, sink the place, then it looks better. And now this will work again also, but I show you, you will see the track and that's, that's not the thing we want. So we go now into the tile inspector, show tile inspector, choose this menu, this option and now you have a little window where you can click on every tile and you see what's there here at surface, here it's a footpath at this position here, X and Epsilon coordinates, here is a track, entrance and so on and yeah. This is the main window you need for this little trick. You go to the tile you want to hide, maybe this here, then you have your track. Yeah, you see you mark this and yeah, so you have several settings like the height of the tr track you can change here but I don't do this right now. So you see the track is marked then you go here to the uh, map symbol and it says insert a corrupt map element at the top of tile. This will hide any element above the corrupt element. So when I click on it then you see the tile is invisible. Now do this with all other tiles you want to hide. And now you have the effect you want. It also works with, for example, a go-kart barn. Uh, Jesus, go-kart track. I mean, I just said a German word for track barn. It's a go-kart track which seems to drive on a footpath here on the red footpath uh, but it's the same like uh, here with the river rapids it's just it's just built here and then you can see the footpath is on top the track but there are the you know, tire barriers visible 
And that's the same thing. You go to the tile inspector, mark the track you want, and then if you choose footpath, then the footpath would be invisible. If you choose track, then the track is invisible. And now click all you want. You can also do a sand track if you want, so it looks like the cards would drive on a sand track. Uh, it works with, I guess, with all attractions, but you have to look at uh, by the water rides uh, that it looks uh, properly. So I show you when you try to try the trick with the lock flume, uh, there is a problem that the boats will be underwater. If you build it like this, just build a small track, just to show you. So let's raise the water, so I will not uh, make these, tile in these tiles invisible, because it, it doesn't matter, it doesn't make a difference if I do this or not. So let, let's take a look, the boats go down here and will be underwater and this doesn't look good. So for the river rapids it, it looks good, but not for the uh, lock flume, but I can maybe I will try this when I make the corner invisible. How does this looks like? Uh, th this looks a bit more realistic. So this is, but uh, you see here the place where it's connected to the track. It's a bit above, so above the sea level. So uh, it doesn't look good, I think. So the best thing, the best ride for this track uh, from the water attract uh, water rides uh, is the river rapids, in my opinion. So another funny thing I made at my last OpenRCT2 livestream is uh, I used this vintage cars here. I just also built here a quick track, nothing special. Entrance exit and now I make it uh, just a bit uh, quick here. I don't want to hide all uh, tiles, but just to show what's possible uh, for rides and with theming, with theming and so on. So these are the invisible track. Now you can go ahead and maybe yeah, you will see this here, the sand for a little Sahara-like or desert-like theming, yeah, which is not available here at the moment. So do I have these? Do I have snow? So then, then choose snow. Then make a kind of North Pole teaming here. So the cars can drive through a kind of, yeah, as I said, North Pole teaming. So it looks like they would drive on snow. Wait, now, now I have, I have an idea. Now it, it, let's build a path here. I think it must work the same way. So let's build a path here and then uh, go to the theming window again and jumping snowballs. Let's build them here. And now I use the tile inspector to make the path invisible. Ah, oh, that doesn't work. Oh, that's... Oh, oh no, that's so sad. It doesn't work. I, I, I thought I could have the jumping snowballs alone next to the track, but yeah, it just worked with the footpath. Ah, okay, so that's that doesn't work then, so I guess it won't work with the jumping fountains either. But yeah, it was a try. Just I just wanted to give a try, and yeah, it we failed at this point. So okay, but we can remove the footpath, so it looks like they would drive on, uh, yeah, on snow. It gives some more interesting theming uh, opportunities or ideas, so you can be more creative than in the original RCT game. 
And what you have, what you sh sh should remember when you delete the riot, uh, then I show it here for the card, card track. When you delete the riot, the invisible tile is just there. So when you build a new track, like here the golf, mini golf, then you see it's it's invisible again. So if you delete or remove the track, then you have to go to the tiles and remove that tile here. So then future builds will be visible there. That's it. And yeah, something additional to say. Yeah, I guess it might work with all attractions, maybe also roller coaster. Uh, yeah, that's that's all. Yeah, you see the ca card track here. They go on. Ah, no, I see. Uh, you can also remove the. Uh, Wait a minute, you can also remove the uh, the entrance and exit building, like on the same way. And you can, like this here, so... You can build attraction tr attractions or rides without any uh, visible station or... Uh, Exit, but there is a problem when you build like this here. This is the place where the entrance would be. Uh, then it's not more a queue, a, wait a line, a waiting queue. So something this gets destroyed at this position, and so you have to build it again. And there is the yeah gr grass here, or you build it like that. And now you can you could build a kind of. Uh, Snow, you can extend this here a little bit, and so it looks like they uh, this ride is somewhere at the North Pole without any infrastructure, and they go into the cars and drive around. Are there other cars available? No, just vintage cars. Yeah, that's all I want to show you here at this tutorial. I hope uh, you like it, and it gives you some ideas for new parks or new rides you want to build and you know if you like it uh, then give a like uh, subscribe and recommend the video or whatever you want to do and yeah thanks for watching goodbye